What's up cycling fans, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, this is a video I've been wanting to film for a while now. Today, I am rating the 2020 professionally... <laughs> Today, I am rating the 2020 pro cycling team kits. Just before we start though, if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell as well. So the first pro cycling team kit is the, t uh, is the kit of AG2R La Mondiale. Now, this is, pe this is a kit that people haven't liked for years because of their brown shorts, which I agree are pretty weird, but I, I really do like the jersey. I think it's got a nice feel to it with the AG2R in the middle and the blue and the brown on top. I think it's a pretty clean design. So anyway, I was, I'm going to be rating these like by how distinctive they are in the pro person and, and how they look like individually and third and finally compared to last year's kit um so the first factor how different they are yeah they're pretty recognizable you know no one else has a really similar kit with the brown um so yeah the second point uh how good they look i think the brown shorts kind of pull away a bit so you know i'm gonna give it a four i know i, I really like this kit um, in terms of compared to last year, it's the same kit. There's no change. Next one, this is probably the biggest change. This the it's the kit of Bahrain McLaren, formerly Bahrain Merida, but now they have changed their name as McLaren is a new sponsor, helping them with their aerodynamics testing, etc. You know, I don't really like it. All the sort of minor sponsors on the top are kind of all over the place and. It's got red and orange and different bits. It's not so clean. I like the back though, to be honest. That that's pretty good. Um, so the second point: how distinct is it? Is it? Um, I think it's pretty distinct. There's not really a, any other red and orange really. And in terms of last year, it's a big difference. For me, I prefer last year's kit. Now, third is the CCC team. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, they were BMC, um, with the likes of Greg Van Avermaet in their team, but now they have merged with the formerly continental team, CCC Sprandy, and it's a Polish team, I think. Um, in terms of distinct, it's a similar design to the likes of Ineos with the warm colour fading into the black. But, you know, I think four out of five... And for the actual kit, you know, four out of five. I really like the kind of long aero sleeves with the gold band around the edge. And compared to last year's kit, uh, it's the it's the same. So another controversial one now. This is the kit of Team De Koning Quick Step. And one th one notable interesting thing first is that Remco Evenepoel is modelling it, not Zernik Sibar or not Julian Alaphilippe but the young 19-year-old Remco Evenepoel. First of all, how good does it look? I'm going to struggle giving it more than a 3 out of 5, I think, because oh, it just doesn't really click. It's not very clean and not particularly modern either, if that makes sense. Is that fair? Um, yeah, it's pretty messy. And compared to last year's kit, I think last year's was better. Now, EF Education first, they drastically changed their team kit two years ago when they had the uh, green and pink, but they then changed it to a tie-dye. Now they've got a sort of half tie-dye with stripes on it. Um, it's very distinctive. Um, and I think, personally, I think it's better than last year. And I really like the gloves as well. <sighs> now... Moppy star. I really do not like this kit. I think it looks like a swimming pool. It no. It's compared to last year, I like quite like it last year with the big um with the dark blue fading into the black, but this year's I I really don't like it. No. Okay, um Yumbo Visma now. So Yumbo Visma have changed to the sort of bumblebee kit. It looks kind of yellow, black, 
yellow black, it, they're pretty much bumblebees. Pretty damn quick bumblebees. Finally, <laughs> Trek Sega Freddo. Um, I really like their kit. I like the black with the red. It's very clean, especially the minor sponsors on the top. I think that looks really awesome. You know, I think it looks great. That's really, like pretty distinct compared to the others. And I think it's just as good as last year. Oh, and check out the Fluoro training kit as well. They look pretty cool, don't you think? All right, thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below as well. If you'd like to subscribe, click on my head. And to see another video, click just here.